Welcome aboard, and thank you for choosing Delta. The health and safety of our customers and crew is our number one priority and a shared responsibility of everyone on board. So before we depart, please pay attention to this important message. Stow all carry-on items in an overhead bin and place smaller items completely under the seat in front of you. Larger electronic devices must be placed in a bag. Handheld portable electronic devices including mobile phones should also be secured. Keep the aisles, exits, and bulkhead areas clear. If you lose an electronic device in your seat, please do not adjust your seat and ask a crew member for help. As we leave the gate, fasten your seatbelt by inserting the metal tip into the buckle and adjusting the strap so it's low and tight across your lap. To release, lift the top of the buckle. Stay seated with your seatbelt fastened when the seatbelt sign is on. And keep it fastened whenever you're seated in case of sudden repair. In the event of repair, the crew might also need to buckle up for safety. We appreciate your understanding if our service is interrupted. Better regulations require all passengers to comply with all crew members' instructions, along with the posted placards and lighted information signs throughout the cabin. Smoking, vaping, the use of e-cigarettes or any smokeless product, including chewing tobacco, is not allowed on any Delta flight. Federal law prohibits tampering with, disabling, or destroying restroom smoke detectors. There are eight exits on this plane, eight doors, four on each side. Six doors have detachable slides that can be used as wraps. The two smaller doors behind the wings have detachable slides that can be used for flotation. Two additional wraps are located in ceiling compartments near the two smaller doors behind the wings. In the event of an evacuation, leave all bags behind. Carrying baggage will slow the evacuation. All exits are clearly marked with an exit sign. Locate the nearest exits and remember, they might be behind you. If we lose power, lights will illuminate the aisle to guide you to an exit. It's unlikely, but if cabin pressure changes, oxygen masks will drop from panels above your seat and inside the laboratory. Reach up and pull the mask down to start the flow of oxygen. Remove any face covering and place the mask over your nose and mouth. Slip the elastic strap over your head and adjust the mask if necessary. Breathe normally and note that oxygen is flowing. So don't worry if the bag doesn't inflate. Be sure to adjust your own mask before helping others. A water evacuation is also unlikely, but just in case, life vests are in a compartment beneath or adjacent to your seat. To use, remove the vest from its container by pulling on the tab and then opening the pouch. Slip the vest over your head, wrap the strap around your waist, attach it to the buckle in front, and adjust securely around your waist. As you leave the plane, inflate the vest by pulling down on the red tab at the bottom or manually inflate it by blowing into the tube at shoulder level. A water-activated light is attached to each vest. For children under 35 pounds, place the vest around their waist and secure the strap between the legs. See your safety card for more information. Additional life vests for inland children are in marked compartments at the front and rear of the plane. We'll distribute these vests if necessary. Now, before we take off, bring your seat to its upright position and stow your tray table. Be sure you fasten your seatbelt low and tight across your lap. Secure your carry-on items and put your armrests at resting position. Finally, take a moment to review the safety information card in your seat pocket. As we finish our safety check, please let us know if you have any questions. As we get ready for takeoff, please settle in. And from all of our crew, thank you for flying with Delta.